Buenos dias. I'm on my morning walk with Micah, the happiest baby in Nicaragua and ghost. And today is Tuesday. So Tuesdays I do back and biceps and back and biceps went very well today. I hit uh, three PRs. Uh, you can follow me on the heavy app under uh, Super Dave X I I I, which is 13 in Roman numerals. And uh, what do you said? I hit three PRs. Uh, if you want to know what they are, you have to watch the video. Uh, but um, my bulk's going very good. I weighed myself and I weigh 225 today, 225.4 with my weight. I weighed myself after I think the third exercise. And uh, today is a good example of progress on my lifts. Um, you can see the progress you can, you can get by just doing one set to failure, doing a 20, 30 minute workout, depending on how long you take breaks for. And all the great benefits of doing one set to failure. It saves you time. Uh, you feel like working out. It lets your muscles recover. There's literally, there's literally no negative. The only, the only thing from my research that I noticed is, um, if you're a power lifter, I think power lifters need to do multiple sets and do uh, different types of things. But if you're not a power lifter, you know, training for competition, then one set to failure is the way to go. Uh, this was proven by by Mike Menser, um, uh, Dorian Yates. It was a bodybuilder that was doing one set to failure back when everyone was doing three, four sets. And and then I, I started doing one set to failure because of Jay Vincent on, on YouTube. And then um, uh, once I started doing it, I noticed that there's more, more guys on YouTube doing it. Um, Max Taylor is another guy that does one set to failure. And I think he's just gonna get more and more popular. Uh, if you have doubts, like I did, I had doubts that one set was enough, I thought that was bullshit. But uh, what I was doing, I was doing three, four sets. I was doing three, four sets to failure. No, I was doing, sorry. I was doing one set to failure, both four or five drop sets. Because I thought if one drop set's good, then more is better. But I learned quickly that that's wrong. You actually dig yourself in such a deep hole that your body's never able to recover. And then you just keep lifting the same weight the week after week. And actually doing less work um, made me stronger. And ever since I realized that, um, I've stuck to one set to failure. And from my understanding is the stronger you get, the less you need to work out and the more you need to rest because of the heavy weight you're lifting. Um, and this is a long intro, longer than usual. Some of those like to ramble on, but uh, follow my journey and I'll keep making videos for years to come. And then you can come back and look at these and see the progress that I got with just one set to failure. Enjoy the video. Bye everyone. First thing I do on Tuesday morning is I do a warm up slash, slash my first exercise. And uh, I do false grip pull ups to train my false grip my false grip so I can do a, a ring muscle up and also to warm up. And usually I'm able to get six. So let's see if I can get six or seven today. And I weigh around, I don't weigh myself yet, but I think I weigh around two, 223, two, two, 222, 223. Uh, but I will weigh myself maybe on the way onto the roof and see how much I weigh. So I got six, like I thought, and I'll see you on the roof for deadlifts. I'm back on the roof and uh, the first exercise I do on the roof is the deadlift. And last week I did, last week I did uh, 320 for seven. 
So this week I should be able to do 320 for eight or nine. It all depends. And uh, this was one of my lifts for my challenge, but I already hit it. It was 315 for eight. Um, my next goal, my next milestone, I think, is to be able to get my one rep max to 405, which is four plates on each side. And I think when I'm done bulking, and I'm gonna stop bulking when I'm uh, when I hit uh, 320 or 225 on the bench for eight. Uh, I'll probably do maybe I'll do a week of uh, trying to actually lift the one rep max instead of uh, just basing it on what the what the heavy app that I have says my rep, one rep max is. And I'll test my one, one rep max before I start cutting to see how strong I am and to set some kind of benchmark for when the next time I start bulking. So let's see how many how many deadlifts I can do. Here goes. Block the camera. Lines of chalk. Always get chalk. Chalk helps a lot. Chalk helps a lot and also using the mix grip helps a lot. I recommend the mix grip. Eight, yes, squeeze that eight, and then I'm gonna drop down to uh, 255, do a couple more. I'm not gonna try another one. So I got eight and four in the drop set. Next week I can increase by five. So I'll do 325 next week. And that's all, that's all it takes. One set to failure, you'll see progress every week. On the deadlift, I see bigger progress than I do on the shoulder press and incline. Those ones, the progress is a little bit slower. If you're referring to adding weight to the bar, but every week there's a little bit of progress. On the deadlift, you see a little bit more, I think because of the weight. And I think also my body, my long arms, is an advantage on the deadlift versus pushing exercises. And you see how, how, how I can't breathe after I'm done one set. And that's it, on to the next exercise. The next exercise I do is the bent over row. And funny enough, it's, um, I'm gonna do 225, which is five more pounds than last week because I got an eight last week on 220. And it's funny because I just weighed myself and I weighed 225. So I'm rowing, I'm doing a bent over row with my body weight, which I think is um, a, good, a good milestone for strength. And let's see if I can get eight again with 225. I use an underhand grip when I do rows.
I got eight on those are four reps, but I'll count it as eight. And next week I'll do nine and I'll drop 10 on each side and go again. Always pull for, for an extra 10 seconds on the last rep. Pull, pull, pull. It's the most important rep. It makes the most, gives you the most benefit, the last rep. And that's it, one set, on to the next exercise. The next exercise I do is the cable row. And I use my rack with the cable attachment. I use the cable row with the V-grip. And last week I did 220 for seven reps. So this week I should be able to get eight. And once I get eight, so I'm gonna increase the weight by five pounds. And let's see how many I can do. I'll give you the seven. And I think I loaded it properly. So that's seven. And I'm gonna drop drop ten pounds, which is going to be okay, so I dropped I dropped ten pounds on each side, twenty pounds in total, and I'm at two hundred. Let's see how many more I can do. So I got seven and I think four, I'm gonna double check. And that's it, you can see the intensity. And sometimes you don't get that full rep, um, full rep progress, but sometimes it's a little bit more on the drop set or a little bit more on the, on the effort for the last set. But uh, there's always a little bit of progress and always push for that 10 seconds at the end makes a huge difference. I know I keep saying it because uh, it's really important. If it wasn't important, I wouldn't even say that at all. So that's it for, for cable rows and on to the next exercise. I'm back with the last exercise. Last thing I do is I do chin-ups, which are like pull-ups, but instead of uh, your hands facing, your palms facing away from you, they're facing towards you. And that works more of the bicep than the pull-up does. So I like to do that. And it also works back the same way. And I'm gonna do, do as many as I can without a band, and then I'll do a drop set with a band. And last week I got six, and I'm pretty sure I'm heavier this week. I weighed 225.4 this morning. And let's see if I can do six again. So let's see, I'm doing, instead of adding weights, adding weights in forms of um, weight on a, on a, on a, my dip band, my dip belt, adding weight to that. I'm adding weight to my body as progressive overload. So in theory, once I start cutting, I should be able to do more, do more pull-ups and add weight. Let's see if I can get six. Nice and slow, controlled all the way up and down.
I got six with the shakes. <laughs> I'm out of bend. Let's see how you can get uh, two or three more. Set like that that's all you need is one set to failure high intensity go all out use full out effort and pull for 10 seconds on the last rep and that's it you're done quick easy back and bicep workout and uh, tomorrow i'm gonna switch it up i think i'm gonna switch up my grip and forearm workout with my shoulder workout so that uh i give my uh i have a two day gap between my gripper workout so Wednesdays and Saturdays instead of Thursday and Saturday. And also give my triceps an extra day rest before shoulder day. So I worked triceps and chest yesterday. So instead of doing shoulders tomorrow, I'll do them on Thursday. So then my triceps can rest Tuesday and Wednesday and see if that helps. I'll also hit some PRs on Thursday with shoulders. And I'll try this for a few weeks. And if it works, I'll keep it like that. If not, I'll play around with it a little bit more. <coughs> But that's it for today. Come back tomorrow for forearms and grip.